Here we have The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. Lots of colors. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by a large book. Here's the dedication for my sister, Krista. Mmm, what do you see? In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. the moon anymore. It's a new day. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. <gasps> he started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was very hungry. Here's an apple, I got it at the store. Very healthy. See the hole where he's going through? On Tuesday, he ate through two pears. But he was still hungry. And I did not get a green pear, I got a yellow pear. Mm. What's the next day? On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. I had difficulty finding plums. So, in lesson, did you know that prunes are dried plum? Uh, prunes are dried plums. So, let's open that up and see what they look like. Mm -hmm. Smell very potent. They're very sticky. You see that? Very dark, huh? Dark. Here's one that's not smushed. Very potent. Ingredients dried pitted plums. And potassium sorbate. Wonder if that's helpful for you. All right, gotta go wash my hands. My hands are all sticky now. Okay. Caterpillar was lucky. He didn't have to have dried plums. He got fresh plums. I wonder where he lives. Would he get all this fresh fruit? Notice that he's going for the fruit. He's not going for candy bars. All right. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still very hungry. Let me look at my strawberries. How do you eat your strawberries? You cut them up. Okay. Got my strawberries. Oh, look at this big strawberry. Look at that with a medium-sized strawberry. There's some big strawberries. Look how big these strawberries are. So big. What do you think I should do with these strawberries? Should I cut them up? For those who know me, I don't really care for fruit. But maybe during this time I should, since I well this fruit, I should do something with it, huh? All right, so ate through all the strawberries. See all the holes? There he is. All right, what well, comes after Thursday? On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. Got my orange. Got my orange right here. You could open that up. Mm, what does an orange taste like? Is it kind of sweet, juicy? Ah, now what comes after Friday? Saturday. 
Look at that. Look at all this food. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, a lollipop, a pie, sausage, a muffin, watermelon, one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night he had a stomach ache. Could you imagine eating all that food? Imagine we have the chocolate cake. There's a lot of chocolate cake. And then, ice cream cone? That is so big. Could you eat a piece of chocolate cake and an ice cream cone? And not only that, he had pickles. Pickles? Where did he find a pickle with chocolate cake? So he had pickles and then cheese. Well, I get some cheese. So much cheese. Where did he find all these things? Hmm. And they're very colorful, so he's getting a lot of nutrition. He's getting dairy, he's getting protein, he's getting vegetables, he's getting fiber, he's getting carbohydrates. Then salami. Salami is kind of like pepperoni, but not as not as hot. Doesn't look like pepperoni. Maybe on a pepperoni pizza. And a lollipop. I don't have a lollipop. I'm sorry. I don't have a lollipop. I've got candy, but I don't have a lollipop. Maybe some Skittles. Skittles instead of a lollipop. And some pie. So, so much food. Look at all this food. The pie, he ate a piece of pie and cake and ice cream and sausage. Oh, here's the sausage. Eat sausage on top of pie and salami and pickles and ice cream and apples and oranges and a pear. And what comes next? Hmm, a cupcake. He had a cupcake. A cupcake, pie, cake, cheese. And watermelon. I went to the store and there's no watermelon, but I did find watermelon juice. So, to me, the best part. Anyway, I would have a stomach ache if I ate all of that as well. Would you have a stomach ache? Because that is a lot of food. The next day was Sunday again. So that means a full week. How many days did we go through? We went through Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and now we're back to Sunday. The next day was Sunday again. The author's trying to teach you the days of the week. The caterpillar ate through some uh, one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Oh, look at that butterfly. Not butterfly. Look at the caterpillar. Look at that caterpillar. He's huge. Now he wasn't hungry anymore and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big fat caterpillar. What is he doing now? Have you studied caterpillars, what they do? He built a small house called a cocoon around himself and he stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out and was a beautiful butterfly. And look at all the colors. You can see the red of the apple and the purple of the plum, the orange from the orange. You have the red of the strawberry. 
you have the yellow and green of the pear and the green of the pickle and some yellow from the cupcake and cheese. And you have some of the red from the sausages and the salami. And then you have some ice cream in there. And look at, he became all the colors of the food he ate. All right, can you find these colors in your house with foods that you eat? And are you eating a ray of colorful, ray of colors to be healthy?